there is no way that I couldn't make a video about Zillica. <laughs> Look at that pump. Oh my goodness. So we've been following Zillica for a little while and Zillica has had some major moves. And I know many people in my audience, I don't know whether it was as a result of watching my previous videos or whatever, but they bought in and they bought it and bought in at fantastic prices. In a recent live stream video, I placed this line down on the chart saying that this would be a fantastic buy point. <laughs> and well, well, look at that. We've had a huge growth from even that moment. And what I wanna check is actually how big this price movement was from the bottom to current price. 183% on Zillica and obviously buy orders on this channel would have been around that level right there so fantastic entry points congratulations to everyone who got in there I want to talk about a few things I want to see if first of all is Zillica in a good point to be buying still even after this price increase and also well how far can it go um, how far will Zillica go to the top of the cycle on this channel we use Fibonacci the Fibonacci retracement tool, because it's backed by bio biology. Um, we are biological in nature. Obviously, we are organisms. We have emotions, chemicals that run through our body to make decisions. And if you're wondering where I'm going with this, <laughs> uh, the Fibonacci's are based on the Fibonacci sequence, which is a biological process or algorithm that dictates how shells are made, why the pattern on a, sh on a snail shell is swirling like that how does biology create such a pattern and also it comes into play when you look at plants and how they decide where to put their leaves because have you have you ever wondered probably not <laughs> why do trees never put their leaves exactly on top of each other it's interesting right on the same branch there's always a decision on that branch where to put those leaves to be best place for photosynthesis right this isn't a science show but in a way it kind of is it's a chart science but we use the Fibonacci's because these levels although some of them have been added by myself based on historical data these levels play a real role in price movements because they play a role in human behavior and decisions now Zillica actually made made it made it onto the my list of 12 coins in the 0 0.236 zone which ultimately was me saying Zillica is a great buy within this price point. That 0 0.236 line was here at 4 cents, so 0 0.049 cents. Anything below that point is where I personally would have bought the coin. I'd actually didn't buy Zillica. Um, I wasn't in Zillica because I'm basically just an XLP <laughs> um, and all my bags have been packed already. But if you had paid attention to that document, and I know a lot of people in my audience did, they bought the document and they paid attention, they bought the coins in the 0 0.236. At this time period, I'm gonna draw a little circle or a, a rectangle. My audience bought in here because they got that document. And so look what's happened, right? The price shot up 183%. So will, will what do I see in the short term for Zillica? I'd say Zillica has no restriction in its movement all the way up to the 0 0.6. So I'm looking at 12 cents as a target for Zillica. And, and you know, if you did buy in this area, you're obviously holding all the way up to the upper end of the fibs, which is what we'll talk about later in the video. But when you look at these lines, anywhere from the 0 0.702 to the 0 0.6, that is anywhere from 14 cents to 12 cents is an area, is a retracement area. So you usually see prices come up to this point and have issue breaking through. If there's no issue for Zillica breaking through that area and it just continues going up, I would either say one of two things. Alt season has started and we're just waiting for other coins to catch up and Zillica was just one of those first ones to go. We have the price start to go sideways or maybe reject a little bit and come back down. And so one of those two things is gonna happen, right? That, that's, that's one of those two things. Do I think, to answer the first question of this video, do I think the, that you should be buying Zillica right now? Um, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Do not buy Zillica on green candles, especially candles that look like that. Don't buy these moments, right? Do not buy. Look how much red happens after green. When green happens, red happens. This is what's always happened, right? Zillica for the last couple of days hasn't seen any red. If you're going to buy the coin and ultimately the last time to buy Zillica was back down in the 0 0.236. That would have been the last time I would have personally got into the coin. And just look at this, right? The 0 0.236 was hit exactly, and it bounced off the 0 0.236. That, I believe, that red candle was the last time to buy Zillica, right? If you'd bought Zillica at that point, it would have met all of my rules, and it would have gone up, you know, that 180%. Fantastic. If you don't care about my 0 0.236 rule, <laughs> at least just wait for a red candle. Just wait for a red candle, never buy green ones. Red always comes, just wait for it to come. 
you might have to wait a couple of days for it, right? It might continue up. It might hit these retracement levels and then create a red candle. But if we hit a red candle and it comes down to today's price, for example, that is called a confirmation buy. As soon as it comes back down, that is a confirmation buy. Buy at that point, right? Just buy a red candle. I can't stress that enough. So where are we looking at for the upper end of the fibs? If you're already in Zill and you want to know how high you are going to be going, how big your bags are going to be, um, let's get into that now. So the 3.2 Fibonacci extension line way up here, this comes in at 63 cents. Now, I have a document of 3.2 take profit points across a load of different coins. This one is slightly different because there are no wicks on this one. But the 3.2 line for me is the ultimate point to be selling your bags. This is the last moment in the market to sell coins. I, I will not be holding for the top of the fibs, the 4.236 line or the 3.618 line in any coin, simply because having backdated that 3.2 line, um, the 3.2 tends to come in way more often than the 4.236 or the 3.618. And when you look at the likes of Ethereum, Ethereum came up and hit that 3.2 line back here on the 29th of October. And if you'd sold the 3.2 line for, X, for Ethereum, like I did, you would have sold at 4,304 cents. The same happened for, for Bitcoin. I know this looks messy, but the same happened for Bitcoin back here um, at $55,631. If you'd sold the 3.2 then, you basically sold the top of Bitcoin. And so I used that 3.2 line. I've backdated it across lots of different coins. And we use that as the upper end of our Fibonacci extensions, which for me in an ultra bullish move would be at 63 cents. If you want me to be exact, it's at 0.6334777 cents. That was super specific, um, but that would be the upper limit. And if my Zelica hit that moment, I would actually take all of my Zelica out of the market at that moment. There's obviously other things that go into an exit strategy, which I talk about a lot on this channel. And I talk about a lot more in my members zone. My members zone is right here. You just click join next to subscribe. You can't do this on a mobile. So you'll have to go over to a desktop computer. And in there, I discuss the exit strategy that will actually ultimately, regardless of how big your bag is, get you to retire in 2025. This includes lots of passive income plays, lots of lots of new projects that might that might pump your bags in the short term, but also just smart decision making based on emotionless decision making. <laughs> um, smart smart decision making is emotionless, right? And so there are a couple of trades that will ultimately be the biggest trades of your whole entire life and will ultimately lead you to be retiring in the 2025 bull run. Uh, that's my mission. That's what I'm doing. That's what my audience is doing. And I hope to see you more on this channel. If you want to see other prediction videos, well, they're all right in front of you. These ones are all with Wix, and I'm currently working on a whole series of videos without Wix, which ultimately is a more conservative outlook on the market for those specific coins. Thank you for being part of this channel and watching this video. Please consider subscribing. Click like if you did in fact like. And also, if you're up with Zill right now, let me know how much you are up, where your purchase price was, and, and how big your bags are now after this recent pump. And let me know all of that in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.